when we talk prefab, I like to think back when we started. And I was in a, in a pretty small space. And uh, we had one or two CAD guys working for us and we would just kind of get basic drawings. And, and we still did everything paper at that time. As the years went by, we, we slew, slowly grew. And the ownership here at J.M. Brennan saw the need to expand our shop. So now we're getting serious about prefab. Now we're having meetings about how we're gonna lay this space out and be efficient. And we spent countless hours doing that to get the most out of it, to make the most out of you know, the space that we had. Yeah, with the initial challenges we had, I was always skeptical on what we made is actually gonna work out in the field. It's what we made practical. You know, can you realistically apply it? And it, it took obviously a few jobs doing it and getting the guys in the field to buy into it. And, and they were very skeptical as well. But after doing a few, and it, when they found out when they started in the right places, that points lined up. You know, you could get from A to B, and that was pretty cool, and those guys accepted it more as well. So as plumbing shop manager, uh, I had to get way more involved with our BIM department and taking that conceptual drawing and turn it into something feasible. And it was working with those guys one-on-one -on -one and, and developing the process on how we wanted to break up these projects into smaller packages, which break down all the way to the assemblies itself which is also a school. Uh, so the cool part is what the Stratus program was, those guys could take those drawings. So we went from doing all the paper drawings to having everything on 55 inch monitors in our shop. Uh, Stratus allowed us to run all of our bill of materials, our BOMs, through their program for doing takeoffs. And we're able to you know, do the testing part of it in the shop, uh, making sure the ends stay capped. A lot of the work we do, we have to have our water and med gas systems closed to keep foreign material out of it. So that is something that we can certainly control in a shop much better than out on the field site. You know, we learned through trial and error like everybody else does. We had our bumps in our roads, but we grew from that. You know, we didn't stop. We kept pushing the envelope and we kept moving forward. And now our shop today is considered by many to be state of the art for our industry.